want to pull this value from the application properties which can also be passed as uh, environment variables Once we have that, then we need to create a file service where we want to upload our files. So let's create a, a package. Let's call it service. And in this package, let's create a class and call it file service. And this is a service class, so we need to annotate it with service annotation. And then we want to auto wire. Auto wire the the mini IO client. Then we need to we can create a bucket name in application properties. We can we can call it mia dot bucket. Let's call it files. So here we can use the value in the application properties. Get the packet name yes so let's create a method to upload upload a file upload a file and uh, this will take um multi-part multi-part file just a file and then the draw there was exception. So we get the the file name. Then what we need, we need to get the input stream of the file. File, file stream file dot get inputs. And then We need the put uh, object. Yes. Then we want to create an object with the bucket name, file name, file name. exactly. And then we want to write the response. Object. Right. Response. Um, and then then we can return the the response once we upload the file uh, in the menu. Then we can also create a method to download the files. Uh, But let's first create a controller method so that we can upload the file. So let's create a controller package. Controller package and let's let's create file controller.java. So this is a controller. Annotate it with the rest controller, and then we have request mapping files. So, auto wire we need to auto wire the file service. File service, then let's have a post mapping. And then the path is upload. Uh, the response, the return, and that is a response uh, entity. Response entity and uh, a string, then the method we upload file. 
Good call. Then we need, we just need the request parameter. Which we will take a uh, file. And it will be a multi part file. Let's call it file. And then uh, let's try. Let's try and catch. Uh, let's get the file name um, file service dot file <clears throat> this this support file returns the the response the, 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 the response so we don't need we don't need the this is not the file name but let's call it the response and uh, response if there is any error let's return response entity the status uh, 500 then you can see error upload the file that and what we need now what we need is to run the application so i'll open a terminal I'll open a terminal and, and run the application so marvin um, both runs so what this will do it will since you have the docker compose you have the docker the docker image the docker compose dependency uh i hope i added yeah so it will scan it will scan for it will start the applications it will start the services or to start the services and then run the application <laughs> as we have here network creating network you can see the image being created the image um, being pulled and uh, i think the the port we didn't specify the the port the gum the port up i'm already using so let's have server configurations let's have um all the port as 80 87 let's have the host address not network. Let's save that, and uh, let's wait. Uh, it's taking a bit. Oh, there we have. There we get an error, and the error is um in time timeout. Yeah, what we need to do? We need to check for the logs, the Docker logs. Uh, how do, do the name of our uh, logs? Um, um, okay, logs. Uh, uh, so the problem is that we need mini IO root user, mini IO root user, and password in the compose file. So we had to. Um, 